So the guys at Ed Van Blake saw I had the tool pack and said, you know what, you need some lighting on the back of that thing. That's what's in here. So what we have here is the light bar that goes on the back of the tool pack. So this fits the chopped and the king tool pack, I think. I don't know if it fits the other one or not, but it fits those two, they're the ones that I've got. In it, we've got some stickers, the instruction stuff, but let's get to the good bits. Rightio. So we have the light bar, we've got your wiring loom, more stickers, uh, all your screws, washers, all that sort of stuff, and the actual light bar. There we go. Now this is this is all plug and play, okay? So it's a simple thing. It's a rather easy, uh, pretty easy install again. Just a matter of taking the seat off, connect it into your existing wiring from the uh, in, in the Harley Davidson, and uh, away you go. Anyway, let's get on the bike and see how she looks. Now the best part about this is they've got this really cool, if I can get it out of there, template that goes on the back of the tool pack. And it's almost, uh, I hope you can see that, it's self-explanatory. So one, guy, one side goes under the latch and the other side goes under your um, hinges. Uh, and they've also got the 3M tape on it that you just peels off, stick it on. And it gives you guides, it gives you, shows you where the screw holes are all the way along, shows you where the, uh, the plug goes in from the back of the light, it's all there. So let's get that on. Start drilling some holes and get this thing happening. Now, if you've got the liner on your tool pack, I shouldn't have to tell you this, but make sure you take it out before you start drilling, otherwise you're gonna drill straight through the liner. We don't want to do that. If I have to tell you that, there's a problem. Okay, so the template is on. As you can see, it's a really easy thing to put on. It matches up perfectly, matches up with the closing latch and the hinge here. That's what you gotta cut out. Okay, so let's start putting it, putting some holes in there and getting it ready. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drill some holes in each corner. Okay, and then I've got a little Dremel and I'm gonna cut it out, but it doesn't have to be that neat. It's just gonna be, it just, it's gonna be hidden anyway. So even if you drill hole after hole after hole after hole along there all the way around, and then just get a little file and cut it out. That'll be fine. Like I said, it's all going to be hidden. You're not going to, you're not going to see it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So as long as, as long as the hole's there, you're good to go. All right, let's drill some holes. Okay, holes drilled, you can take that template off now. It comes off easy, doesn't leave any sticky marks. All the holes done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, in case you don't know what a Dremel is, that's a Dremel. All right, it's just a little, uh, like a little handheld saw drill. It's got a little cutting wheel on the end. That's what a Dremel is, just in case you didn't know what it was. about through now it's just a couple of, get the drill and just uh, drill a couple little holes along there and then it'll pop right out okay so that's the hole cut out so you can see it doesn't have to be neat guys it's just as long as there's a, a, a gap there right this is all going to be covered i'll just clean this up now with a bit of a file just neaten it up but other than that that's all you're gonna do okay so all you're gonna do now is just put that little duvalaki there the plug through that through that hole Okay, you're just gonna need a small Phillips head screwdriver just to screw it in. And there's just, the holes are already pre-done for you all the way along, to there, to there. Screw it in and that's mounted. Then all you gotta do after that is just connect up your wiring. We've gotta drill a small hole on the other side, um, which is, I think, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a one inch, uh, if you've got a one inch hole saw, just put punch it through to put your wiring and it goes, feeds it under your seat into your plug and play stuff. We'll do that next, but let's uh, get, get this mounted. That allows us to do all the other stuff.
Okay, now what you're going to want to do is if you come in here and have a look in the tool pack, you've got one, two, three little stamped discs just there. You want to drill into that one there. It's going to come under your seat, under your tool pack, and up under here. And there's a little grommet that goes in there, and the wires come through and plug into that there. All right. I'm going to, now you can use whatever, but I'm, I'm using a little hole saw here. I'll drill it out and then punch it through. Again, just tidy it up with a little file and you'll be fine. Okay, so the pack comes with this loom. You've got this end here, okay, we've got the two bits. They obviously plug into here, you just uh, daisy chain them along like that. And then on the other end, you've got, uh, you've got a grommet halfway, which goes into your hole, so you feed that in. Then you've got this plug here, and the plug you want has got a little locking latch on there, there. Hope you can see that there, yeah, that little locking latch. That plugs onto your light system. And then this extra stuff here is for extra, you know, lighting you want to plug in, other tail lights, uh, indicators, all sorts of lighting you can plug into into these extra plugs here. What you what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie them up, zip tie them and just put them under the uh, under the liner like that, out of the way, which should look good once it's finished. Um, but I'm gonna put all this together now and plug it all in and then I'll show you how it works. Now let me tell you, the hardest thing about this whole install is going to be getting this grommet into that hole. And what you want to do is you want to use a small flathead screwdriver and just gently keep poking it in and you will get there eventually. I'm not going to do it on camera because it takes two hands to do it. I've actually already done it once and I've pulled it out so I can show you. Um, but it is a pain to get in there. But you, with a bit of wiggling and a bit of... Uh, Perseverance, you'll get it in there. So let me just get it in there so I, got a, so I can use two hands, and then I'll show you what, it, what the end product looks like. And it's in, done. There it is there, all nice and neat. All I'm gonna do then is just zip tie these up, lay them flat back here somewhere, uh, like that, and you're done. Just clean all this crap out of there. And there we go, voila. Line it back in, seat back on. Wires hidden, as you can see, just in there. There it is, all back to normal. Honestly, if I can do that, anybody can do that. Let's have a look what the lights look like. Hang two sec. There we go, on, indicator, indicator, brakes. Spot on. Now, I don't know about you, but I reckon they look really cool on the back of that chop tool pack. That is cool. You can never have enough lights in the back of your bike. Didn't help me at all. Still had somebody right at the back of me, but let's try and make it, make, <laughs> I'm trying to make me as visible as possible. And that does the trick. That looks great. And it looks cool. It's not like, it's, see, it's not all individual um, dots like the Harley one is. It's, it's like one big beam right across. I reckon that looks super cool. Well, that's it guys. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up and we'll catch you next time on the Harley Road Show. See you then.